I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? Uh, not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest Princess. I know. But the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh, 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 so then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Now that we've voted, it's time to count the votes. Yay! Let's 
in the know, the more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! It's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Rang. Are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> huh? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <sighs> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh! to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and uh. tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Strawberry, you calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Very Bitty City Post Office. We do 
the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard that the storm we had the other night, it blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Then, excuse yeah, me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Ladybug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But... Uh, uh, 
I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding. Just what I always wanted. That's the perfect first frost gift for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> always in style, always in fashion, and it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just... Wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, 
But Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Huh? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the docks. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask, who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. No, here! Excuse me. Oh, Plum! We were having a, um, discussion about where to put the banner. Where, where would you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? Excuse me, but the other girls have good Citizens Club membership pins. And I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um... A, um, hmm, club leaders conference. Of course. I'll be just right outside, ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, huh? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good Citizens Club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the Good Citizens Club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes. You must take the test 
of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? <sighs> Uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. <laughs> I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Exactly the way we wanted it! Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no, it looks terrific, really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, a three. Yeah, three skirts. Yeah, we always use three. Uh huh, three. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was gonna bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! Beautiful day for a swim. We don't want to miss a minute. What are we fighting for? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. Huh? Blueberry? Uh, Blueberry! Aha! Yikes! Hi, Strawberry, Raspberry. Come in, come in! Section. Then again, I could put some under bestseller because I know they'll be bestsellers. <sighs> Where are all your other books? No room. I had to move them out. I only have Patty Persimmon Mysteries now. It's all I read. Blueberry. Mysteries are great, but you love all sorts of 
books. You like learning about all kinds of things. But Patty Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. There's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today, I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come quick, come see. Berry can bloom. What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. It's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere it's a lack of a certain vitamin, but which one I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can can you do anything? Hmm. Well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea. Off I go. Well, guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars, go. Check. Guidebooks, uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. 